Hey yo. So after I took my RV back to Tiffin for warranty service, I was noticing a lot of water in this area right here whenever the RV was sitting. Um, and what I determined was that the water was leaking here at the strainer and no matter how much I tightened it, it still leaked. I pulled the strainer off and it didn't really seem to have an o-ring and I think it needed one so I added an o-ring to it and now it doesn't seem to leak anymore and so I think I fixed that problem I also noticed that where this little brass this is just a uh, what female female pipe fitting or male male pipe fitting I don't know no it's female inside pipe female inside pipe I think um, where this is there was a, a larger brass device there and it was a back backflow preventer so it would keep water from coming in, flowing back past the pump and into the fresh water tank. Well, this pump has one of those built in. And I tested with my water hose, um, letting water flow through the pump and out through the backflow preventer and without the backflow preventer and without the back flow preventer the water flowed more freely it, it actually shot out another like I don't know it shot out three feet with the preventer in and five feet six feet almost twice as far with it out so I felt like that was probably not good for flow so I just got rid of it and just put a piece of pipe in between I still have it if I need it I'll put it back in but like I said these pumps automatically have it built in and I already I tested and it does work um, I don't know if they put that in for double measure but uh i wanted water pressure because i can't get all the soap out of my beautiful locks of hair yeah that's funny that's my hair so anyway uh, i took care of that and while i was in here i also i pulled the pump out to do all this and when i went back in i used washers underneath new screws um, my screws were sunk into the rubber um, one of them was sunk in so far that I, it was very difficult for me to get out. So I used screws that are more flat and then a washer on all the holes. And um, I'm hoping that holds it a little bit better and makes it quieter. For the very least, it just seems like the way it should have been done from the factory, uh, much less anything else. So the screws that were in there looked like they were flat on the top, but they were actually, actually had a funnel shape in the bottom and they would just pull right into this foot. So that's all I did over here, and I'm just going to have to retape this stuff because I uh, unwired it all. But you do notice how this is wired. And I believe the reason there's two sets of yellow and two sets of white coming into this is because you have the inside, um, you have the external switch out here and the internal switch. Um, but maybe that's not why. I'm not really 100% sure, but that was my assumption. So the water pump's on, and everything's been working fine. Um... I still am eventually going to pull this panel off and redo it so that the water comes in and goes through the filter and then goes to tank filler city water. Right now, the way they plumb it, the only time this filter is used is when the city water connection is set to city water over here as opposed to tank fill. And I don't know why you wouldn't want the water filtered, at least for sediment. It's not a great filter, but it's for sand and stuff. Why you wouldn't want that filtered when you're filling your tank? Anyway, that's the end of that. If you guys have a similar problem, um, I hope uh, I helped you. Um, the O-ring I used, I can't tell you the size. It was numbered like a 248 or something. It was a huge assortment of um, stuff I got from Harbor Freight 10 years ago. It's a two-sided bin with O-rings. Um, and I really didn't figure it mattered all that much as long as it didn't leak. A new one of these things locally from West Marine was $22. And in town here, it was or, uh, from Amazon, it would be about 10 bucks. And so that wouldn't be bad to have. They're all plastic. I'm sure they break. Have a great day.